today, more videos have come out of different people who have been abused by their spouse. And what is worse is that many of these videos were recorded by third parties watching. There was a video we watched that actually spurred this conversation. And I must say, viewer discretion advice, seriously advised, because it could be a bit heart-wrenching. Watch this. Okay, so we saw that online. Everybody's, everybody, I mean, he's being passed around. And this is a man pulling a woman through her hair, using her hair, kicking her like a football on her face. But our focus today are the bystanders, yeah. those men, able-bodied men watching, somebody also recording. And the issue is that, why do we do that? And mm -hmm. I think during the break, Mariam was raised yeah. an angle, which I thought was really crucial. She said that if you're a bystander and you've seen this happen over, and over. So he beat her yesterday or last week. You complained. You went to him. He beat her again the next day. You went there to an appeal to settle it. The third day, the fourth day, he keeps doing that. And, the, and we now get to the point where we're recording it. So as a bystander, you are tired of talking. Mm. You've come to resettle two fights back to back. How do, I, how do you participate in something two adults have chosen not to fix? You know, we have to talk about support system. When... Um, Everybody says when something happens like this, if it leads to serious uh, physical abuse like this or death, as you know, the case in point that we've been talking about, is that people are asking where is our support system? So the support system can only give you the support that you want them to give you based on the decision you've taken for yourself per time. So your support system will be, and this is what I mean, your support system will be with you if you decide to stay in an abusive marriage. They will talk to you about it. They may involve the police about it. They will, you know, pray or different things. And then if after all that you refuse to leave, the support they will give you is wipe your tears every time you come. Listen to you, wipe your tears. Because they know that everything else that they have tried that should have made you take yourself out of that situation and you haven't, that's the support they will give you. The support they may give you is also document it for just... Purposes, yes, something would come up. That's one. So that is why we say in the end, you have to make that decision for yourself. Your support system would not carry you and bond to you. If they do it the first day and they do it the second time and do it the third time, the fourth time they will not carry you. They will just come and visit and tell you sorry. And we hope that, you know, you are strong enough again to take it the next time. A woman who consistently accepts domestic violence is damaged beyond measure. Today they beat you, they apologize. Tomorrow they beat you. For years you've been living with it, you have normalized it, it has become a way of life for you, is damaged. And that woman can only be helped by either choice or by force. Now I like the fact that she mentioned a support system. There must be one crazy person in your family. Every family has one mad person. Mm. That will dare the gods and say nothing will happen. Some folks, some and don't. No, you must have. You must have in your family. Find that auntie that is crazy, that does not listen to anybody, and go and report your matter to her. To and even the bystanders, you know, sometimes you have tried for these people. They are not your family members, they are strangers. And you've tried and tried and tried, it's not working. Find the lady's number and get a family member to be involved. Sometimes the damage is so deep that if somebody does not lift you out of that thing, you will die. Mm. Like what happened to this lady. She needed a force to lift her up, lock her up somewhere, take her to a therapist, keep her there. What you are the crazy, that? there's nothing. Mm -mm, listen, no, I'm asking you. Is there a question I'm asking you? So, so she no, needs no, to be able to do it. So, I guess what if, if that had if happened? They have done it, yes. lifted her out, yes. taking her to where she needed to uh, heal. Yes. And she has healed. Yes. By herself, yes. she will now make the choice. No. And she decides to go back. No, that is not the easy way. Let's bring this to a Nigerian setting. Yeah. And I know the things I have done. I'm not proud to say them publicly. But I have seen where somebody exactly like this man beat his wife right from inside the house into okay. a puddle of water. Mm. I came back, and just because they were narrating what happened, I went to greet him. I said, you know I know governor. Mm. I said, ah, governor, but at that time, he has been on our show. I work on television. I just need to tell the governor that what I am a doing? mad person. What are you saying? Around, if this ever happens again. And that's curtailed it. Yes. Sometimes just what you cannot do, just describing what you can do, just make empty threats uh -uh. sometimes. 
And there's this evil that bystanders do, which is looking at whatever provoked that beating, mm. say it justifies it. Yeah, that's... Most times in Africa, it's when it's adultery, suspicion of adultery or any of such things. A man will now reduce the wife like this. Mm. The bystander will say, ah, no, me. Yes. See, it is not about your ego, and it's not about the number of times that you have been there. Mm. This, it counts when the number of times when you turn your back and On something wrong, something, <laughs> something, me, something or irreversible happens. We tell women, mind your business, don't get involved, don't let people, don't bring a third party, keep it to your... And this same man who used to, don't bring a third party. It's the same man that now saying, call someone now, it's call her auntie, find, find this auntie. Said, find, I mean, so what, what, let's, when, let's, okay. let's, what let's, see, let's what, what see, Sorry. people who let's say see. don't bring a third party, those men, mm. those fathers and mothers, mm. Who are advising you not to be a third party? They know that sometimes this man will slap your face. Mm. You know, because you have not told them that you have not told them the extent of the slap. So when we say don't bring a third party, is for issues that can easily be resolved. But when it comes to issues of violence, when it comes to issues of domestic violence, physical, sexual, emotional, yeah. you must bring people in to save yourself. They say you can bring a horse to water, you cannot mm -hmm. force it to drink. I hear all of you and I hear your points about the fierce person, the government person, the whatever. In the end, you have to take that decision for yourself, and we need to teach women yeah. that. Yes, we agree now. Nobody yeah. will take that final decision for you. They can carry you, put you in a box, lock you up in a dungeon. The day they release you and you find yourself there, there's no. There, how many times will they do that for you? No, you no. have to make the decision. Your life is in your own hands. The decision is yours, simple yeah. and short. Yeah.